Okay, I'm just uh, going to test the intake manifold pressure. I didn't turn the car on yet. And then the oxygen sensor. So the car's not on. There's nothing being detected. All right. So next, the intake manifold pressure is... So that's strange, it's just going, uh, going up and down. Hmm. Alright, whoops. Alright, I attempted to start. There we go. Alright. So now, we got some measurable data coming in for oxygen sensor voltage bank 1. Okay. Oxygen sensor voltage bank one sensor two is is just not picking up anything. Okay, yeah, my check engine light is on. Okay, so intake manifold pressure was up a little bit and then it came down. Oh, oxygen sensor two just came online. It, uh, it was a delay there a little bit. So what does all this mean? Okay, let me try to rev it and just see. I'm gonna take it, uh, take it to... Hmm, so the oxygen sensor It might be a delayed reaction for oxygen sensor 2. Alright. So if I rev it. Okay, pressure goes up for the intake manifold. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not too certain uh, what the what these measurements exactly mean. I was told one of them was supposed to kind of go crazy and one's supposed to be stable, but it appears one is stable and... or they're both kind of crazy. I'm not doing any revving. I guess this is what they're supposed to do is go up and down just kind of as an idle. Okay, well, uh, let me just... let me check the in intake manifold I'm gonna change please stop the current readings to be able to change okay I'm gonna stop this and uh, cancel change the bank the intake manifold pressure to um, secondary air status uh, you know, there's really nothing I can change it to. Um, alright, I'm gonna just go back, like, to the, uh, the performance? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Not graphs. Probably back one more for diagnostics, trouble codes, oxygen sensor. Okay. So we got now this is supposed to be bad, I believe, to uh, indicate because my because of my code, my trouble code is is the catalytic converter 420. All right, and uh, the fuel level sensor, yeah, they they need to drop the gas tank for that one. So. Uh, that's that's uh, that's another thing. All right, trouble codes, but the oxygen sensor. Now that is something that uh, looks pretty static. Rich to lean sensor threshold. You know, I'm just not sure what that means. Okay, maybe th systems. Results of monitored systems fitted on the vehicle. Okay. So now this is for two codes, the 420 and then the the sensor for my gas gauge. 
catalyst. Okay, in the red, I think it's supposed to mean bad. So, uh, I'm not sure. 0.973 is the value. How far off is it? I'm not sure about that. That's the catalyst bank monitor bank 1. Is there a catalyst monitor bank 2? Secondary air monitor. Okay, I'm not sure where that is. There's supposed to be one before and one after one after the catalytic converter. And I'm not sure where it says it on this this diagnostics. So uh all I have is secondary air monitor and and then the catalyst. Yeah, exhaust gas. Richelene, okay, status, evaporative system, not complete, heated catalyst, not supported. Now, do I have to drive extra for that? Three trouble codes? I thought I only had two. Okay. Well, the car's still running. Um... Yeah, the measures is is uh, something else. Tables. I didn't really look at tables. Okay, tables. It's just everything as it's going. Intake. Okay, and it's updating periodically. Okay, so the oxygen sensor it's giving a voltage there, it's giving a voltage there oxygen sensor is giving a voltage there well then what does that tell me? that doesn't really tell me anything oh, what, are, what in this talks about the, the catalytic converter it's, it should be the oxygen sensor but all, that, all I'm getting is, is voltage is that the value? Alright, so well, I'm going to end this then. Oh, yeah, it still dies.